Today's topic is the expression CHO. Okay, this is a very useful expression that everybody from my generation uses. So I highly recommend you to use it whenever you can to make your Japanese sounds like you are speaking like a local. Note that you start using it though, uh, there are a lot of things you have to know about CHO. On this video, I'm gonna show you how to use it depending on a given situation. How to use CHO. You may use CHO to emphasize your feelings or emotions. So I'm gonna give you some examples first. The first one is CHO SUGOI, which means so awesome. And second one is CHO TAKAI, which means so high or so tall. The last one is CHO HAYAI, which means so fast. As you can see in the example, we add CHO right before an adjective to emphasize the expressions. But many of you guys think, what the heck does CHO mean? I did you a favor and I look it up in Japanese English dictionary. According to the research, the meaning of CHO is super or ultra. Hmm, it's actually not the perfect answer. In Japanese, CHO can mean exceed or beyond. And with those meanings, people started using it to emphasize their feelings. Also, CHO is used to emphasize, so super and ultra are technically correct. But if you use CHO, uh, same as super and ultra in Japanese, it doesn't really sound natural. But don't worry, I'm gonna give you the very similar expression in English. CHO is SO. In my opinion, the best counterpart for CHO is SO. CHO is SO. Easy to remember, huh? In English, there are a lot of words to emphasize something such as very, really, um, pretty, extremely. But there is a bit of a difference uh, between these words. For example, you don't really say very fantastic or really wonderful. But you say, oh, it's really fantastic and it was so wonderful. Compared with other expressions, so might be the most flexible and you can definitely use in different situations. Cho is actually very similar to so. It's very flexible and you can add it to any adjectives you want to use. This is the reason why a lot of Japanese speakers use that expression. And aside from being easy to use, it's also so casual. It'd be really cool for you guys to use CHO in conversation with your friends. Here are more examples for you. CHO KAKKOI CHO KAWAII CHO ATSUI CHO SAMUI CHO YABAI There you go, useful, right? In the first and the second example, let's say you saw a very cool guy and cute girl in town and out of instinct, you say CHO KAKKOI CHO KAWAII Maybe if you say a bit louder and they would hear you and they would start conversation. In third example, imagine you are experiencing extreme weather conditions, very warm or very cold. You may say CHO ATSUI, CHO SAMUI. And the last one would be CHO YABAI, which is really useful. YABAI can have both positive and negative meaning. Its English counterpart can be the word crazy, which you can also use in a lot of situations. For example, your friend passed the entrance exam for Harvard, or when you're in tight spot, or when you are very legally high for some reason, you can say yabai. I would love to discuss more about this, but it would take forever. If you have some specific questions about the expression yabai or whatever questions, don't hesitate to leave them down below and I might talk about it in the next video. Moving on! Synonyms for CHO There are tons of synonyms for CHO. Here are a few examples. Mecha, Sugoi, Monosugoku, Soto, Totemo, Hijouni. The expressions on the top are more casual, and as you go down further, the expressions become more formal. There are too many expressions similar to CHO, so I handpicked the most common expressions for this video. In my case, I use mecha and sugoi a lot in daily conversation with my friends and family. These are the casual expressions like CHO, so there is no strict rule for when you use it. Here are some examples for mecha and sugoi. Mecha umai. Mecha mazui. Sugoi hayai. 
Yes, I use them a lot. In my opinion, mecha is very similar to cho. The meanings and ways to use them are totally the same. However, sugoi has a lesser feel than cho and mecha, but it's still basically an emphasizing phrase, so there really is no big difference. If you want to emphasize more and more, you can say mecha umai, mecha mazui, depending on the situations. Take note that you can add sugoi to a noun too. For example, sugoi kane mochi, super rich. Sugoi kaisha, a great company. Sugoi hito, a great person. Sugoi is used in a variety of situations. Further examples are totemo, hijouni. They mean almost same as cho, but think of it as saying cho in a formal way. For example, you are hanging out in a restaurant with your friends and the food is so delicious. In this situation, Totemo oishi or hijouni oishi will sound so weird. That reason? We don't really use these expressions with our friends, so I recommend you to go with cho oishi or mecha oishi. Yeah, they sound so natural. Other expressions similar to cho. Zenzen. Zenzen is often used in negative expressions. We use it before the negative verb form and as an emphasis for something. For example, Zenzen kikoenai, which means can't hear at all, and Zenzen ugokanai means it won't move at all. And last one, Zenzen wakanai, which means I don't know at all. In the first example, you are talking with your friend and you can't even hear what he is saying. So in this situation, you can say zenzen kikoenai for him to talk louder. On the other hand, the second example talks about something that you are trying to move but it's not moving. In this situation, you can say zenzen ugokanai. Lastly, in the third example, your friend asks you a question but you don't understand at all. You can say zenzen wakanai. I did previously say that we use zenzen for negative verb forms but just to let you know, we also use zenzen in positive expressions like zenzen ii, zenzen daijoubu. It technically isn't correct, and your Japanese textbook may say, oh, you can't use zenzen with positive verb forms. But hey, at this age, everybody uses it in a way anyway. What can I say? Language evolves. Oni. The last one is oni. It is also used like cho. For example, oni kawaii. Oni sugoi. Personally, I don't use it at all, mainly because oni is used by younger kids. So if you want to sound like a mature person, you probably should stay away from that expression. Just a tip. That's about it with cho and other similar expressions. To sum up, cho is super useful, so I recommend you to use it in casual situations. Also, the emphasizing expressions I mentioned in this video are often used as well, so Give them a try. In this channel, I'm gonna make videos about Japanese casual expressions for Japanese learners. I'm gonna show you the real Japanese expressions which textbook don't really teach. By the way, this is only my second video on this channel, so it will help me a lot if you hit the thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more in the future, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on notification so you know there is a new one. See ya!